think about me. If I'm wrong with that, what they will think about me? It's uh, lacking behind of my mind. I want to overcome. What is your Super. answer for this, sir? Super. Okay, so this is one of the biggest things that stops entrepreneurs. It's called fear of failure. But I started my presentation with that. I said, he who doesn't dare to win has already lost. I tell people who are scared to go for an exam, they said, I can't remember anything, you know. I say go for the exam because by not going for the exam, one mark is guaranteed. What one mark? Zero. <laughs> yes or no? Even if you go and copy the question paper, the teacher might feel sorry for you and give you two marks. But sitting at home, you won't even get one mark. So I tell them, go and write. And they go, they finish the exam and they'll come out with 70, 80% and they'll say, Sir, suddenly I remembered. <laughs> Actually, we never forget. But when we are under fear, that fear immobilizes us. It's a fear response. Fight, flight, fright. Fright is that freeze mode. We forget. Whenever you're cool and calm, you say, okay, whatever I get, I get. Better than zero. Then you'll make it. So, the corporate world says this, even when you lose, you never lose. You gain a lesson. So even when you lose, you win a learning or a lesson. So go ahead, make the mistake and make it early and correct fast. All the best. I want to wish you all the best. Very well done. Hi, sir. Hi. I'm Bharat from Seshariprem College. I have a wish. I want to come over there and face the audience. Can I, sir? Come. Thank you. Who stopped you? Welcome, welcome. Hi everyone. I'm Bharat from Sisharipam College. I have this passion for speaking a lot and I want to chat and all. I have a passion of like having in groups and all I, I speak, I want to have, but I don't get that chance. So when I was in first year, second year in my uh, degree colleges, uh, I had, uh, had the stage speaking opportunities. Currently, I don't have. Just as Ian sir was chatting all those things, entrepreneurship, this everything, I thought that why can't I give it a chance? I have not faced this much audience. Now I'm facing it. I'm, okay. I'm uh, breaking this. Yeah. Uh, so it's giving me some self-confidence. Now, now you go because otherwise they want to listen to you and they won't want to listen to me. That's what I want to say. <laughs> Anyway, thank you, sir, and I'm wishing you a happy Makara Shankranti. Thanks. Happy. Well done, happy well done, well done. Bharat, superb, man. See, that's the spirit I'm looking for, okay? That's seriously the spirit. Bharat, you need one more round of applause for that. Very nice. Yes, madam, go ahead. Hello, sir, and hello to everyone here. I'm Reena Rosario. I'm a mechanical engineer by profession. Wonderful. What drew towards, uh, me towards this seminar was the big holding on uh, in opposite to Sankey time while I travel towards the office. I may not be the student group. I am well in the industry in corporate world, but I still believe that you know the youthfulness is there at any age. Yes, absolutely. And uh, when I heard the Times of India and media people here, I would like to urge or you know join hands, like request everybody to join hands in requesting the media to have a section where they show the startup. There is violence. There's a lot of other things which are showcased. Why not startup? Very nice. <clears throat> Very nice. Okay, Veenu, Veenu is your name? Reena. Veena. Veena, I want to share something with you. Reena, sir. It's Reena, R. Reena. Yeah. Reena with the R. Okay. So, Reena, I get six papers at home, but I don't read any of them. The reason is because <laughs> it's not because I can't read, okay? <laughs> I can read. But the news I get from the newspaper puts all negative stuff in my mind about my country. And you know what? I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, so I read motivational uh, pieces, I read blogs of people who have been there, done that, and who have gone past everyone else. I learn and I read all the time so that I can give more good stuff to people. And I don't have to talk about uh, rapes and corruption and all the rubbish that our media wants to highlight. 
Yeah. I don't know why they want to do that. You are exactly right. There are very a big section of people who read, who start their day with the newspaper. We start so with negative energy. The why we are not, thinking that you know there may be a bomb on the bus. Why not put a positive no, news seriously. every day? Have a section dedicated for positive. No, I'm sure news. there are some media people here, and if not, if there are some people who are related to media people. Please request them. Can we highlight more success stories on the front page? Yes, that is that is what I'm urging everybody to move. Yes, forward. yes, yes. Very nice. Reena, thank you for that. Thank you, and we need more people like you to speak up. And I request all the youth here on your Facebook, wherever the traffic is more on internet, put stories which you come across, small startup. For example, we never knew that a startup was going on with a student there. Put right. that. Some in industry people can come up and support them. I may be interested in support. I don't know what subject they're working on. There are many corporates who would like to come and support people in their free time. Put stories which you come across. So, suppose your student fellow, like fellow student is working on something, some project, just put it on the Facebook and say, yeah, I like this idea. You're right, you're right. Absolutely right. And in fact, I'll give you some, let's give a nice round of applause to Reena first. Thank you. NASCOM, Ravi Gururaj himself is the author of that. It's called 10,000 Startups. 10,000. He's looking at early stage startups. Uh, iSpirit is helping entrepreneurs who want to be startup. Microsoft Ventures is helping startups who have gone a little further. If you just do a Google search for mentors for startups, lots of people will come up. There are people who want to help you. But you should reach out and say that you want to help. You want help, okay? So thanks, Rina. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Any more questions or can I close? Hi, sir. Hi. My name is Divya. I'm from Government College. I have goals, but I have a lot of goals. Andre itu tapu anta entarag nan spirit kerme agok berita. Nan goal matte beri dek fix agutte. So matte orang ena rey dek goal change jatta nai rute. So itu new suggestion yang kerti ra. Nan suggestion itu rey dek suggestion. Madu yang mati lala. No, I'm just asking. I'm just asking serious answer. If you're going on your honeymoon and people say, hey, don't go on honeymoon, yar. They will start fighting there only. Will you go or will you not go? She got the answer. <laughs> so for honeymoon, you don't let people stop you. If you want to buy a nice dress, you don't let people stop you. Why are you letting your idea be stopped? That's the question. So I want to wish you all the best. All the best and have a good life ahead. I want to see you in the news soon. That your startup is already launched and running. So I wish you all the best. And you got energy from this group also. Thank you very much for that. Yes, go ahead. Bodybuilder. Sir, uh, just a couple of days back, I read an article in that entrepreneurs uh, want to be so smart that they have to impress their investors in a couple of minutes only. If they are late, they lo lose their investment. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is your question? <laughs> I just wanted to know that how to uh, talk to people or uh, how to convert my message in a few very fast. Okay, so my work with Microsoft Ventures, believe it or not, we had 11 entrepreneurs there already got first level funding. But when I saw them pitching, it's called the pitch. Actually, I'm going to launch the pitch contest, first pitch contest for India. So I'll give you all tips there and we will have education sessions leading up to that. So within the next two to three months, look out for the first Indian pitch contest. It is how to pitch, how to give you a message in one or two minutes. And we're going to come down to the one minute pitch. That means you may, may be asking for millions of dollars in one minute. How to do that effectively? So we're going to train people in that. So stay in touch. I'm, I'm on Facebook, I'm on LinkedIn, connect somewhere. And uh, I'll, I'll definitely give you some more information as we go along. But I've already written blogs on this. You might want to just check my blogs out. Yes, okay, on that nice note, I'm going to stop my presentation. Thank you all for being a fantastic audience. I want to close with this. May your dreams become your destiny and may you become more than you wished you could be. And thank you to the organizers, Dr. Ashut Narayan and all. Thank you for having me over. Thank you, thank you, thank you.